hello friends my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial in previous couple of video tutorial we have seen concept about a functional interface in Java 8 so there are few points still pending so let's complete those last two points so conceptually a functional interface has has exactly one abstract method since default methods have an implementation they are not abstract since default methods are not abstract you are free to add default methods to your functional interface as many as you like instance and now next point last but not the least instances of functional interfaces can be created with lambda expressions method references or constructor references so let's go to the clips and here I can show you we have a comparator interface and this interface have been declared as a functional interface right so this interface in this interface we have a compare method right it's an abstract method and we have also another abstract method equals but this method belongs to the object class so when any class implements this comparator interface then that class has to implement only compare method right but uh, so uh, we can say that this functional interface has only one abstract method right and implementation of this method is already written in the as object class so if any class implements this interface comparator interface then that class implicitly by def implicitly extends object class so that is already implemented in the object class so that's why that's the reason if any class uh, implements comparator interface then that class has to implement only compare method not equals method but if you look into this uh, interface then there are a lot of default methods right so definition default methods means java 8 you can write method definition in uh, interface itself but before the method name you need to give the default keyword then you are allowed to write method definition within the interface itself and from java 8 onwards you can write even a static method inside the method right so if your interface is functional interface then you will have to declare only one abstract method but you have right to you have option to declare as many as default method you want to write and even you can define a static method as well now in previous video tutorial we have seen how we can write a lambda expression right so uh, so instances of functional interface we can create by using lambda expression or you can in this in this slide i have told you i have taught you uh, instances of functional interface can be created with lambda expression which already i have shown in the previous video tutorial right so this is the one of the way to uh, implement thread using lambda expression because runnable interface is a functional interface and this interface has only one method so here we have we have opportunity to use lambda expression so this way we can write uh, lambda expression and you can provide the implementation of run method using lambda expression now second point is saying uh, instances of functional interface we can uh, also create using method reference so let let me show you suppose we have a one list and this is a string of list and I say name list and this list I'm going to initialize this with uh, list with array list press control shift o for organize import now I'm going to comment this call and here add some name and view shown And here we can we want to iterate this list using enhance for loop 
uh, using for loop which, is, uh, which belongs to the java 8 and look at the parameter this for each pa for each uh, loop is asking you to supply uh, values for consumer so consumer is nothing but this is an interface and this is a functional interface if you go to the java dot util dot function then this is declared as a functional interface and this interface has only one abstract method right that is called accept and uh, as we have discussed earlier uh, functional interface can have a default method as well so implementation of default method is there itself but as your functional interface can contain only one abstract method so we can make use of this consumer interface to iterate my list so here you can write new and you can have a consumer and you can write anonymous class so here your list contains a string of data so here this guy is forcing you to implement add on implemented method and here you can easily iterate and let's say this variable name is instead of t you can make name and name you can print right so this way also we can print our array list and happily we can print here but as we know that consumer is a functional interface so here we can make use of the lambda expressor instead of writing anonymous class as i discussed in the previous video tutorial right so here how we can write lambda expression for this so as i had discussed earlier so lambda expression so when you go to the for each loop so this is asking you to supply i mean consumer right so for is very well known i need to accept consumer right so here you don't need to write this type of code so up to here this a uh, curly bracket opens here so i'm going to uh, delete this curly bracket so uh, remove this guy closing bracket and from here up to here you need to remove even method name access modifier as well these things we will have to remove and here you need to give the arrow and this is the sign of lambda expression so this is your lambda expression so this way we can write our lambda right so here uh, you are applying for each loop on this list right so for each for each you are just applying on this list and this list is containing contain type of a string so here you don't need to specify even data type as well so you can again remove this one this is also valid i mean uh, lambda expression if you run it then you get the output successfully but again you can simplify this uh, lambda expression you need, don't no need to specify this data type so i can remove this happily and if your lambda expression contains only one statement then even you can remove this curly bracket right so you you have simplified your lambda expression like this so if i run it then you can happily get the output now so this way we can iterate our list right so if you look into the slide then i have taught you uh, instances of functional interfaces can be created with lambda x which is already we had seen in earlier video, tutor video tutorial again we can create instances of lambda expression using method references so here we have we have made use of uh, lambda expression right using functional interfaces right so this point is covered here itself right but this statement you can simplify it like this so you can write like this so name list dot for each then name and arrow is nothing but that this is a sign of lambda expression and here you don't need to write like, like this so here out system is a class and out is a reference of uh, if you go to the system class then we have a out uh, we have a out reference value which is type of print stream and print stream we have a method is called println right 
print ln print ln so this method we can directly call using method reference in java 8 so to method reference you will have to give the two columns like this and you don't need you need to specify this arrow as well so this is one of the valid you can say uh, you are creating the instance of uh, functional interface using method references right and if i run this code then happily you get the output right so these are the two ways you can uh, create the instances of lambda expression using uh, using lambda expression you can create the instances of uh, functional interface using lambda expression as well as method references so this is your method reference so after out you have to give the two columns and you write the print ln so just print ln you are accessing from the print uh, stream class right so so that's all i wanted to cover in this video tutorial and next video tutorial onwards i am going to cover uh, lambda expression in depth so please be there and we'll have so many learnings on lambda expressions and thanks for watching this video